fellow with Chaparoos, the Big Chaparoo and Safety Dan here. Great. And on today's episode, we had a guest visit us, Randy Johnson from ShopBot, and he brought with him a CNC machine. Now, this machine is kind of new to me. Yes, when I build furniture for a living, I do use a lot of power tools. But when I teach a class or make a project for myself, I actually prefer hand tools. But the CNC machine is one of those tools that's rapidly showing up in the workshop. So Randy's here to give us the basics on it. And for a couple of old school guys like us, well, we've got a lot to learn. I know all about the CNC. You do? How's that? I watch it every morning. I even get the weather report from it. <laughs> no, man, that's CNN. You say tomato, I say tomato. Well, at any rate, let's see what Randy has to say. So I'm going to bump the cap, the uh, collet in the spindle and the router bit, the V bit. Again, you said you could pick from one of a variety of different bits. Oh, right? yeah, any, it'll use any standard router bit. Some bits work better than others, depending on what you're cutting, but pretty much any standard router bit will work. Now I'm going to zero, this is the Z zero plate, I'm going to zero the Z axis, which is the vertical axis, and using a routine, it will automatically determine where the surface of the wood is by touching. So it's putting no pressure on that plate? It's just a little bit of conductivity is... Uh, Little electrical charge is being sensed. It's grounding out, is what it's doing against okay. the plate, and uh, so it doesn't dull that tip at all. Yeah. Uh -uh. no. And the next thing I'm going to do is this is the x-axis of the y-axis. I'm going. There's some little tiny electrical switches here and here, and I'm going to let the computer find where those switches are, and it'll determine this is the absolute zero zero point now for the x y, because then the design we're going to be cutting is measured off of that point. So now that the tool knows where zero zero is, the surface of the wood and the zero corner of the board, I've designed my pattern in here to be set in this far and then it will automatically register the pattern. So you control the depth of it? Um, it sounds like the old video game sound effect there. Actually, what it's doing now is just determining the far left side of the machine and the far front side of the machine. But, but the uh, the the depth that goes down. The depth down. is determined with this the V cutting program, as you can see here. The depth is determined by how far how far wide apart the lines are. Oh. So the farther they are, the deeper the V bit goes. It's all automatic. Oh, interesting. That's really interesting. That takes a lot of guesswork, huh? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's all automatic. So what I do, what I did, what I did over here then, was in my drawing program. I had my tool. I selected my tool. I selected the lines that I want to cut around or cut inside of. I hit calculate. And that creates those blue lines, which is the tool path. At the, so now the computer has registered here where the tool should go. Okay. Then what I do is I save that, and I save it for the ShopBot machine. It can be saved for a variety of CNC machines. In this sense, I save it in a file format that this machine will recognize. So that program is a universal program? This is a, yeah, the CAD program is fairly universal. It I will see. put to dozens of different kinds oh, of machines. Oh, they're very cool. So in this case, then I save it out to my folder in an SBP file, ShopBot Parts File is what that stands for. So that file, I then open up lines right now 
represent where the tool is going to be cutting. And those little tiny Y shapes are where it's lifting the tip of the router bit up out of the corners to give square corners. And so we can actually preview that. This is a three. This is a three D view of the board. So there, nice. if you look close, you can see how it lifts the bit of, yeah. in the corner and leaves it nice and sharp. So we can put that on the machine and cut it. Okay. Well, there you go. I hope Randy gave you the ABCs of the XYZs of the CNCs. And stay tuned to our show because we're going to feature the X-Carve CNC machine and see if it can truly be faster than a skilled craftsman. Chad, you know one day these things are going to rule the world. What are you talking about? Yeah, I saw a documentary on them. This one here is just the beginning. ShopBot will go on to make the T-800 the first cybernetic organism with living tissue over a hyperallo endoskeleton. Uh, Dan, that wasn't a documentary. That was a science fiction movie. You say science fiction, I say science faction. Well, there's one more thing that I gotta do. Chad, I think it's time for you to dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This program brought to you by <laughs> You gonna fucking laugh I'm at cracking me. up already. Yeah. <laughs> no man, that's CNN. Oh wow! Right there at the end, yeah. you were so close. Oh, I don't know much about the CNC machine. And I screwed up. <laughs> but when it comes to building projects, well, I actually prefer to use hand tools. <sighs> I, I do. I prefer hand tools. God damn. I've seen them use them too. <laughs> and stay tuned to our show because in the near future, we're going to feature the X Car CNC and see if it can really. What are we going to see, Chad? Then we'll see if you can finish your lines. <laughs> We're going to feature the X-Carve CNC machine and see if it truly is faster than a skilled craftsman. That's where I talk. Yeah! Cute! Fuck! Damn! I hope Randy gave you the ABCs on the XYZs of the CNCs. And stay... I <laughs> can <laughs> it, man. You <laughs> Well, there you go. I hope Randy gave you the ABCs of the XYZs of the C and C's. And stay at the stance and... and <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Dan, that wasn't a science fiction... Uh, that was a science fiction movie, Chad. Get your lines straight. You say science fiction, I say science fiction. And then I forget when I'm supposed to. <laughs> oh, well. geez, I forgot my favorite line. Oh, crap. <laughs>